What's going on YouTube? It's been quite a while since I did an update on the indoor aquaponic garden, which is a barren wasteland. But uh, the catfish are still doing pretty good. Here are my beautiful two catfish. Hanging out, loving life. Although uh, the outdoor temperature is like, uh, I think the one thermometer says 40. And the other says that it's like uh, 36. Right here inside the garage, it's probably a little bit above 40. And these little guys are just kind of hanging out um, right with each other. Trying to, uh, I don't know, probably keep warm. I've got a few questions, if anybody out there can answer them. Uh, such as, I've like, if you look at them, we've got like a really light colored one and a real dark colored one. And uh, the dark colored one has like really dark color whiskers. He's obviously the guy on top. And uh, he normally is... Or, well, I call him he. I don't know. But uh, that one, like, is the one that explores the tank. The light-colored one on the bottom, that one usually stays right in there and never moves. Like, when the food comes around, they'll grab some food. But they really don't, or that one, really does not move around or do anything. Uh, it just kind of hangs out right there. Um... I don't know, it, I was reading a whole bunch of different stuff about catfish and, you know, they say the males have the broader head, or the bigger head, wider head. They say the males have the wider head and uh, the females uh, more narrow and, I don't know, you really can't tell on these two guys. They're pretty much uh, the same exact uh, size, maybe slight uh, differences. But the difference in color is uh, really apparent, and that's what has been intriguing me all along. I'm wondering if I've got a male and a female, because that would be really cool if they would like to breed. Although I did see uh, in one of the uh, scientific papers I was reading that the official breeding temperature has uh, changed from 64 to 69 degrees, 69 point something, 69.2 I think, but whatever, I have no clue, I'm not an aquaculturist, I'm just an aquaponic guy, so I'm just growing fish because I uh, need some fish poop, but I don't know, what do y'all think? I know they're pretty looking, but what do you think? I think that dark one is the male, and the light colored one is the female. So that's always been the sense that I've got, but you never know. It could be completely uh, the opposite. I don't know. But I will say this, uh, the one that is out there in my lava rock aquaponic garden, he has dark, dark whiskers, just like the guy in the background there, uh, that he's just, there you go, he's popping his whiskers right above, uh, his friend, but, I don't know, I'm sure I'm, uh, probably gonna get the correct answer from my buddy Josh over at Josh's Aquatics and Railroads. Uh, shout out to him. Go check out all his videos. And if anybody else has the answer, throw it in the uh, comments below. But I'm not even... Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, show... Alright, fine. I'll show the uh, barren wasteland of the top here. Alright, here we go. As you can see, we've got the remains of a strawberry over there. Uh, little, oh, I guess there's a root right over there where the tomato used to be. And as you can see, there's algae all over the place. Um, well, this thing doesn't have a filter, so I'm pretty sure this algae that's getting this light from, uh, or getting, yeah, getting its light from my light, I'm pretty sure 
that uh, that is what's uh, sucking all the nutrients up out of the fish poop. So, hmm. Thinking I probably should go ahead and plant some plants out here and uh, get them addicted to the fish poop and lower the sandpipe. The reason this looks like this, um, when I first started it, I, hmm, like I normally do, I went ahead and took a uh, uh, rubber mallet and, you know, tapped down all the things. And that includes right in there inside the bell siphon, the standpipe. And the standpipe is just a little bit too big. So I either need to, so I either need to add more rock, which I have not done yet, which I should do. I think I have another bag. Or I need to lower the standpipe. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take this apart and move it into the uh, greenhouse. So probably take care of that whenever that happens. And then move the aquarium into the house so I can have some fish inside to look at and be amazed by looking at them swimming through their anti-gravity environment. Mm -hmm. and there's my little buddies swimming away in their watery existence. Not even aware that I am putting their image right up on the web. They knew they'd probably totally sue me. Alright. <laughs> it's definitely getting late if I'm talking about fish suing. So, until next time. Later.